welcome in to the campus of California Baptist University for the joust. Two teams involved in this one, Portland State Vikings. They're looking to run the table this entire weekend. Trying to go 3-0 and for the tournament. And they're taking on the Tommies. Tommies in the exact opposite boat. They're looking for their first victory of the joust. They fell on Friday night. That was against the Cal Poly Mustangs, 61-60. to Parker Bjorklund, as you see there on the screen, he had a chance at the uh, last second there to put one in the basket. Rimmed off, tough break. It's a shot that Bjorklund usually makes, and I'm sure if you talk to him, he'd tell you he should have made that one. And we are underway. Portland State in the dark uniforms. The Tommies in white with the basketball. Kendall Blue with it. There's Brooks Allen. Back to Blue and that one taken away. There's Jarrell Satterfield with the early steal. Ishmael Habib with the buzzer beater banked in. That was against CBU on Friday night to give Portland State the victory. KJ Allen rims out offensive board and that's going to be an area where the Tommies are going to be at a disadvantage in this one. Portland State should clean up on the boards and they do so right there. Hunter Woods. Outside name, inside game, and got inside for that rebound there. Bjorklund off the mark, and here come the Vikings. They'll slow it down in the transition. Now corner three opportunity. Rims in and out, but then once again, another offensive board. There's Kendall Munson in the middle. He's a load, provides a screen for Habib. I'll go to Satterfield. In the lane, pull up Jay. Rims off. Tommies have a little bit of trouble there on the rebound. Here's the point guard, Drake Dobbs. Dobbs from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. He's picked up his dribble, looking for some help. Finds it in the form of Brooks Allen. Back to Dobbs. Dribble drive. Raheem Anthony now. He'll take it inside and he'll get fouled in the middle. Take another look. Baseline drive. Got Allen up in the air. Foul actually though on Hunter Woods. First foul of the game. Just two minutes gone by here. The joust from California Baptist University. This has been a fun tournament. A lot of really good close games, good action. Head coach for St. Thomas in his 13th season, that's Johnny Tower. He preaches holding onto that basketball. They do not turn the ball over. 2-1, Tommy's on the board. In the middle, Munson, deep position, puts it up. Touches the rim about 12 times and falls. So Kendall Munson figures to be a problem in the middle for the Tommies. Tommies, a little bit undersized. They've got some guys that were recruited as D3 players. They made the huge transition just a couple years back from D3 to D1. Dobbs, the crossover, had the step, kicks back out to Bjorklund. Open for the three, but a little long on this effort. Transition three. Off the pass from Ishmael Habib. And there's Mr. Satterfield. And a timeout quickly here for St. Thomas is they're gonna look to find an answer. Transition buckets so far here. And then also Kendall Munson in the middle, not only cleaning up the glass, 
but also putting one back. So a couple things for the Tommies to try to work on. Obviously uh, undersized. So you got to really concentrate on boxing out, getting good position for your rebounds. And then also make your shots. That way there's not rebounds available because Kendall Munson in the middle, probably going to clean up a lot of those. At least in the current lineup configurations on the floor. St. Thomas, that's Raheem Anthony. Brooks Allen, there's Kendall Blue, along with Drake Dobbs. And Parker Bjorklund, that's the five on the floor for the Tommies. And out of the timeout, Kendall Blue finds the stroke. And it's a three-pointer, seven to four. K.J. Allen, Jarrell Satterfield, excuse me, Ishmael Habib, Hunter Woods, and Kendall Munson starting lineup for the Vikings as they're off the mark there. Tommy's clean up on the glass, so already trying to make those adjustments. Dobbs, near side, Kendall Blue. Allen, and he is pure. Good stroke there, he stepped into that one and we're all tied up, so a good timeout. Johnny Tower got his troops mind a little bit right here. Knifing into the lane is Hunter Woods and he draws a foul. Jace Coburn in his third season as the head coach for the Vikings and testament to him. He had most of his team come back. We're gonna step aside, media timeout here. We're all tied up at seven. Introducing bubbly sparkling water. Crack a smile. Conventional wisdom says breakfast is the most important meal. But at Provider Food Services, we believe that every meal you enjoy with us is the most important meal. Voted number one, this ideal drives us to bring you curated, chef-driven cuisine and composed meal experiences every single time. Whether you're dining with us or partnering with us, we want to give you the best and safest experience. So in these busiest of days, let's always enjoy the most important meal. Welcome back after a slow start with Tommy's. Now on a 6-0 run in the last just under one minute, they've tied this thing up. Portland State got off to a good start as far as shooting. It cooled a little bit here. The Vikings. Three of seven from the field, and Tommy's two of four from the line. It'll be Hunter Woods. Woods, a senior. He's from Pasadena, went to John Muir High School. Doesn't convert on either. Here's Raheem Anthony bringing this one up. Drake Dobbs. Back to Anthony now. Looking for a screen. That's a Johnny Lee. Ben now. Both inserted in here recently along with Carter Bjorki. Bjorki now. Hands off to Dobbs. 
Shot clock winding down. Tommies don't know it. Anthony heaves at the buzzer. And he's off on that one. Johnson in the lane. Step back. Hunter Woods. Looks like it was off of Mr. Woods there. It'll go the other way. Back to the Tommies. So... Score was 7-1. to one. Johnny Tower called a timeout, and he made some adjustments. And now all of a sudden, Portland State's a little cold here. Five minutes gone by. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. My name is Stephen Douglas. So happy you're with me here on the YouTube live stream. Hello to our friends out in Minnesota and Portland. Good one here so far. The Vikings trying to go undefeated for the weekend. Raheem Anthony is pure on that stroke. And the first lead here for the Tommies. These two teams exchanging some punches here early. From the top, that was Hayden Curtis, a little strong on his offering. Ben now, transition three, and it's good. And all of a sudden, the Tommies on a 12-0 run over the last two and a half. There's Jarrell Satterfield. Over to Isaiah Kirby. Remember now, these teams playing three games in three days, so you might see some tired legs out there at times. You might see some turnovers that you wouldn't necessarily see with well, everybody in fresh legs, and maybe that's a situation right there with that turnover where the mental fatigue of this weekend may be setting in. Here's Ryan Dufault handling the basketball. He'll hand off to Kendall Blue. Blue from Woodbury, Minnesota. Give and go. Him and Ben now. But the blue ran into some traffic and lost the handle on the basketball. That'll be a steal for uh, Isaiah Kirby. Kirby, the senior from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, went to Sagemont High School. And he's got the basketball now. He'll dribble it up against the smallest player on the court. That's Ryan Dufault. Kick out three. And that one is good. Isaiah Johnson from Torrance. He went to Bishop Montgomery High School to transfer from Oregon State. And he ends the scoring drought of almost four minutes. The big fella from downtown, Carter Bjerke. He'll shoot that. Redshirt freshman from Plymouth, Minnesota, puts it away. Good take in the lane. A couple baskets in a row here for Isaiah Johnson. So now these offenses are starting to get it going a little bit here, particularly the Tommies. Four-point advantage. Here's Ben now. Running through traffic, tried to swing that out. Quick hands in the passing lane, and another transition opportunity. There is Jarrell Satterfield, and he is good. He's good on the stroke there. He's good at basketball in general. And he brings the Vikings within one. Johnny Lee. Corner, far side, Kendall Blue. Blue will kick this one to Ryan Dufault. In and out. Bjerke had it around the rim. He wants it from downtown. The big fella. He's passing up opportunities to put it in the window right at the basket. Said he'll kick it out. Go set himself up for a three-point opportunity, and he drained it. The floater over Bjerke. Long three-point opportunity. Heat check there for Satterfield. He's off the mark. Johnny Lee kicks. Extra pass. 
Good defense on the perimeter there by the Vikings. Dufault looking for some movement, directing traffic. Here's Bjerke now in the post. Out to Dufault. Dufault trying to find his big man. Now the shot clock winding down. The floater in the lane. Big fella. Showing some guard skills there. Carter Bjerke. From Plymouth, Minnesota. The red shirt freshman. Some good productive minutes off the bench for Johnny Tower. Here's Kirby. Leaves that one short. Bjerke cleans it up. Now here comes the Tommies. Ben now. Kendall Blue. You can feel the intensity with which the Tommies are playing. They haven't won a game here this weekend, and they do not want to make this trip back to Minnesota winless. Foul in the lane. 21-15. Tommy's with a six-point advantage. St. Thomas, five of their last six as far as from the field and a scoring drought once again for Portland State. It's 21-15. We'll be back in just a moment. My name is Sarah, I'm from Moreno Valley, California, and I've been with Altura Credit Union since 2017. Family time is extremely important. Being able to just pull my phone out and just go right on the app while the kids are over there doing whatever they're doing, I'm able to just go on the app really quick, transfer money or check my account, see if my deposits went through right away. With my Ascend checking account, I'm also able to check my credit score. I don't ever have to worry about anything in my bank account. Did I mention it was free? <laughs> Welcome back, St. Thomas. After a slow start offensively, has really picked it up. Now they're shooting over 60% from the floor. Seven of 11. As they get this one in. Raheem Anthony at the top. And for a screen from Bjorklund. Picking up his dribble and getting a long bounce pass into Bjorklund on the two-man game. This one kicked out, Dom Martinelli. Off the mark, but that one put back in. So the Tommies trying to continue this scoring drought here for the Vikings, and almost an errant pass there. Paul Farrell, wild shot there at the basket. Vikings will retain possession. So Cole Farrell just in the ball game. He's a freshman and he's from St. Louis, Missouri. One triggered inbounds. Farrell with it at the point. Trying to knife his way in the lane. Good defense there from St. Thomas. Now some Transition opportunity, the Tommies will get into their half-court set. Allen over to Dobbs. Dobbs looking for some movements, and instead there'll be a whistle underneath, away from the ball. I believe that was on Ishmael Habib. It's the third team foul for the Vikings. Triggered in, Bjorklund drops it off for Dobbs. Now on the mismatch. 
Bjorklund on the smaller player. He'll give it up to Raheem Anthony. Now Farrell trying to guard Anthony, and that'll be an offensive foul. Anthony can't believe it. Got the shoulder down. Take another look at it here. Tough call. But going back the other way with it. The Vikings, Ishmael Habib. He's had a great weekend, as has K.J. Allen. Those two trying to play a two-man game. Here's Allen. He's got some moves in the post. Had to kind of alter his trajectory of that shot. Anthony to Dobbs on the break. Anthony trying to get it to his point guard. Extra pass. Martinelli going to come in to the lane and get tripped. Looked like on the baseline, Martinelli was looking for somebody cutting, and he couldn't find anybody. We'll take another look here. Puts his defender in the popcorn machine and then gets tripped. Bjorklund working against Kendall Munson. There's Brooks Allen. Allen loses that one. Farrell, and he is rejected. That's Raheem Anthony coming in and making sure nobody's scoring there. So Anthony with the good clean block. Kendall Blue comes on and he'll spell Anthony. Anthony will get a rest. He's got four points in his eight minutes here. And the scoring drought has now ended at four minutes and 20 seconds as the Vikings back on the board. Bjorklund and Dobbs. Two-man game. Bjorklund working against the smaller player. Double team, kick out. Good ball movement. Dobbs going to take it in with the shot clock winding down, and he's able to kiss it off the glass. Good decisions there from your point guard, and that's what the Tommies, they want. They want a point guard who's not going to turn the ball over, and Dobbs is just that and made a good decision there with the Shot clock winding down, losing his footing there is, uh, excuse me, Hunter Woods, and he turns the ball over. Martinelli didn't have numbers, so Tommy's will slow it down here. Tommy's hungry for a victory. He lost to Cal Poly on Friday night. And they lost to CBU last night. This one off the mark. So the cold shooting now continues here for the Vikings, at least recently. This take, unsuccessful by Martinelli. In the corner, Habib, he should knock that down, and he does. Habib is a pretty efficient shooter, at least this weekend. He's been real good. He's just under a 40% three-point shooter for the season, young season so far. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Now a five-point advantage for the Tommies. We'll be right back.
In 1936, two brothers founded Stater Brothers Markets with the promise to provide good food at a fair price, commit to excellent service, and care for our communities. Today, our values continue to guide everything we do. We value our team and take pride in our work. We are humble, respectful, and challenge the status quo. We communicate openly, honestly, clearly. And above all else, we have fun. Stater Brothers Markets, fresh, affordable, community first. At Magnolia, we've been around so long because we're always on the cutting edge. Let Magnolia help you modernize your comfort with our new all-electric, ultra-efficient comfort systems. Magnolia Heating and Cooling, trusted in Riverside since 1951. Conventional wisdom says breakfast is the most important meal. But at Provider Food Services, we believe that every meal you enjoy with us is the most important meal. Voted number one, this ideal drives us to bring you curated, chef-driven cuisine and composed meal experiences every single time. Whether you're dining with us or partnering with us, we want to give you the best and safest experience. So in these busiest of days, let's always enjoy the most important meal. Welcome back here to Riverside. Five point advantage for the Tommies. I told you earlier in the broadcast that the advantage on the glass would probably be going to Portland State, but so far in this one, dead even on the rebounds, 11 apiece. I also told you the Tommies don't turn the ball over that much. They've got five turnovers and the Vikings have three, but it's been the shooting of the Tommies here lately and they're shooting 56% from the field overall. And Carter Bjorki is the leader in points for not only the Tommies, but for the game, he's now in double figures with 10. He's four of four from the field, including his two threes. Habib tripped up there by Ryan Dufault. Whistle. The fourth team foul now on St. Thomas. Here's Bobby Harvey. He'll trigger this one in. Habib over to Johnson. Back to Harvey, near side, surveying the court. Plenty of room on this side, and he'll pull up for a baseline J, and that's good. So Harvey's first bucket, his first attempts on the afternoon. A lot of players getting involved in the scoring on both sides. As far as the bench scoring, the Tommies leading that category. They've got 13 off the bench while the Vikings have seven. Shot clock winding down. Anthony with the take. Baseline gets his own rebound. What a play. Ben now open for three, but that rims out. This one going to go back the other way. So another turnover here. Five minutes left to go in the first half. It's been a good game so far. Portland State trailed by as much as 11 Friday night against the Lancers. And then were able to come back and they had a strong performance in the second half. So look for the adjustments by Jace Coburn and his coaching staff for Portland State at the half. They were certainly able to make those in-game adjustments on Friday. Undefeated record on the line, not only in this tournament, but for the season. Dierke just did save that a Johnny Lee pass. Anthony has to heave it up, looking for the foul. He hit the rim, Anthony getting down, getting dirty. But that one just trickled away from him. You talk about 50-50 balls, intensity and hustle. It was all on display there, but game of inches. As that one just trickled out of bounds. So Drake Dobbs will come back in to spell Ryan Dufault. Johnny Lee. 
trying to provide some pressure in the backcourt. Ishmael Habib is not bothered by it whatsoever. Habib finds Kendall Munson. Good pass in the middle. Good defense. Quick hands by Bjerke. But now taken up, and that one will fall. And one opportunity for Isaiah Johnson. Started with the vision from Ishmael Habib. Got that pass into Kendall Munson. Good defense by the Tommies. That was Bjerke knocking the ball away momentarily, but Isaiah Johnson, right place, right time. That's by design. That's not a luck thing. And he puts that one home to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Two-point ball game here. Four minutes left to go. Closing minutes of the first half. Such an important window in any college basketball game. With Johnny Lee. Back to Dobbs. Bjerke. They don't know the shot clock. Dobbs does, and what a shot. Hand in his face. He didn't have it in rhythm. There wasn't anything beautiful about that shot until it left his hand in the rotation, and it was pure. A foul underneath Kendall Munson. A load in the middle. 321 left in this first half. Five minute, or excuse me, five point advantage for the Tommies. We'll step aside for these important messages. In 1936, two brothers founded Stater Brothers Markets with the promise to provide good food at a fair price, commit to excellent service, and care for our communities. Today, our values continue to guide everything we do. We value our team and take pride in our work. We are humble, respectful, and challenge the status quo. We communicate openly, honestly, clearly. And above all else, we have fun. Stater Brothers Markets. Fresh. Affordable. Community first. Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm from Moreno Valley, California, and I've been with Altura Credit Union since 2017. Family time is extremely important. Being able to just pull my phone out and just go right on the app while the kids are over there doing whatever they're doing, I'm able to just go on the app really quick, transfer money, or check my account, see if my deposits went through right away. With my Ascend checking account, I'm also able to check my credit score. I don't ever have to worry about anything in my bank account. Did I mention it was free? <laughs> <laughs> Five-point game here, the joust from the Inland Empire. Tommy's making the long trip from Minnesota. They had the longest distance to travel out. They're looking for their first victory of the weekend. Three games in three days. All four teams subject to that. And it seemed like all the coaches were excited to kind of test their teams here early in the season, just November, but tournament time. Have a good look at at least early season, which you're going to experience if you can get into your conference tournament, which is, of course, pretty much the entire purpose of the non-conference schedule. Get yourself tuned up for conference and get into that tournament. Munson, one of two from the line. And that pass, uncharacteristic turnover there for the Tommies as Brooks Allen was looking for his point guard, but his point guard started his cut. The Vikings, they've made their last three field goals down. Swinging it around on the perimeter. 
Satterfield, long three ball opportunity that rims out. Bobby Harvey, I call him Bobby three ball, but a little too deep that time. Vikings retain possession. Habib, he'll trigger it. He's from Chicago, Illinois. Satterfield looking for Munson in the post and said back out to his point guard. Eight on the shot clock. Three ball. Rims in and out. Here comes Raheem Anthony on the break. Brooks Allen, a little bit of indecision there. Anthony in the post. Finds a winger. And that's Kendall Blue, and he is true. So 33-26 now. Munson, good position. Now doubled, triple teamed. Kisses that one off the glass a little too strong. Tommy's now in transition. Bjorklund trying to get it over to his point guard. Instead, he'll go to Raheem Anthony. And a foul away from the basketball. That'll be on the Vikings. So an interesting first half here from CBU. I mean, we knew it was going to be a good basketball game. Just about every single one of these games in the tournament has been fantastic. I think the only exception to that was the Vikings' victory yesterday over Cal Poly. That was 73-57. to There's Kendall Blue once again. And Kendall Blue getting hot. Thirty-six, twenty-six. Blue now with nine. K.J. Allen with the answer. Raining down that three, a high arcer. K.J. Allen, he's been quiet here this afternoon. Two of four from the field, just five points now. Raheem Anthony out to Kendall Blue. Now back to the point. Blue, heat check. Oh, he is on fire. Three in a row for Kendall Blue. And the lead remains 10. Back to 10, I should say. Kendall Blue cleaning up his own mess off of the glass. He says, thank you very much. I'm the tallest guy here. I'll just put it right back up. Anthony Bjorklund with position. Gets his own board and puts it back up and in. So Bjorklund around three defenders. Able to put that one back up and in. Habib, the final possession potentially here of the first half. 10 point advantage for the Tommies. KJ Allen, he's true. Cuts into the lead. Kendall Blue, he's on fire. You almost thought he was going to make that half point or half court shot there. And an exciting one here from. CBU 41 34 will step aside halftime here on this YouTube live stream. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back in a few moments.
Welcome back. Halftime here from the joust as St. Thomas, the Tommies trying to squeak out a victory here. They traveled the furthest distance of all of these teams. I'd like to see them get one on the victory column side. Portland State, on the other hand, down in this one, but they were down Friday night against CBU and had a very impressive second half. The buzzer beater at the end, if you'll remember, from Ishmael Habib was the difference in that one. And really the story has been the Tommies as far as their shooting percentage in this one, 58% from the floor, including 10 of 17 from beyond the arc. Against CBU, the Tommies shot 40% from the field, and they shot 50% from the field against Cal Poly, and that was a loss. Tommy's looking to get on the right side of the victory column. Tough opponent here in the second half, and right away, the Vikings miss on their first three ball opportunity. Here's Kendall Blue, and Blue, he was hot before the half, and he continues with the heat right there. He's now got 15, he leads all scorers. So Kendall Blue, he's perfect so far from the field. Five of five from beyond the arc. Good reach in there from Bjorklund. Now Bjorklund does get the steal. Tries a floater in the lane, but leaves that one a little bit short. Good defense on the transition from the Vikings. 10 point advantage. Here's KJ Allen. Ishmael Habib. In the post, Allen looks to go to work. Double teamed, Anthony ties him up. And possession arrow will go to Portland State. I, I, I beg your pardon, go to the Tommies of St. Thomas. A good play there from Raheem Anthony. Here's the point guard, Drake Dobbs. Allen surveys the court. Working against K.J. Allen. Here's Kendall Blue. You'd like to see him get another open look. Bjorklund, I think he was surprised by how open he was on that curl and not able to finish at the rim. I think he was expecting Kendall Munson to be right there to challenge that shot. Bjorklund shaking his head a little bit after that one. Foul on St. Thomas, first team foul. 10 point advantage, minute and a half gone by here in the second half. The last game of the tournament will be here tonight. That'll be on ESPN Plus. It'll be the Lancers of California Baptist against the Big West foe, Cal Poly Mustangs. Allen lost the handle, but it was knocked out there from Brooks Allen. Another look. You're gonna have quick hands in this game. And sometimes even if you do have quick hands, you're gonna get called for that reach-in foul. Not that time. Habib working at the top of the key, looking for a screen. Two-man game with Kendall Munson instead. Out to the wing. Satterfield. Trying to find Hunter Woods knifing his way through the lane, and he gets that one to go. Habib in the lane, kicks out, extra pass, maybe one too many, but they were looking for Kendall Blue, who's got the hot hand. But the Vikings weren't rotating off the defense from Kendall Blue. They know he's hot. And another foul here. Once again on the Tommy, second team foul. Tommy's now in a two-minute scoring drought since that last three ball from Kendall Blue. It'll be Hunter Woods to trigger this in. As 
Isaiah Johnson. Satterfield. Good defense on the perimeter by the Tommies. Now in the post. Good move and a real good job to keep that pivot foot down there by Isaiah Johnson. Johnson now in double figures. He's the first scorer for the Vikings to do so. He's got 10 on four of five shooting. Allen looking for help. Dobbs deep three and it's pure. So that ends a little scoring drought for the Tommies. Just over two minutes. Johnson looking to answer in and out. And the rebound corralled by the Tommies. Here comes Raheem Anthony. Loses the handle for the moment. Now Johnny Lee. Here's Kendall Blue who's got the hot hand. You got to get him an open shot here. Oh, trying to get it into the post and read beautifully there by Isaiah Johnson. He just took that away from Anthony. In the lane, I guess four Tommies. And Habib knocked to the ground. So now that's the third on Raheem Anthony. A couple other players with two fouls for the Tommies, but nobody else to speak of in any sort of foul trouble. Here's Habib from the line. He's good on his first. Habib has been impressive this weekend. He is now seven of nine from the charity stripe this season. And he knocks them both home. He's got really solid shooting strokes. So you figure he would be good at the free throw line, but some guys, a good stroke just doesn't translate to those freebies. Now Johnny Lee, Ryan Dufault. Here's Carter Bjerke. He had 10 points in about 10 minutes in the first half was really impressive in his time. Kendall Blue, heat check, and he's got it still. He is perfect from behind the arc. That's now six three-pointers for Kendall Blue. So Ten-point advantage. Tommy's trying to put away a tough team here. This is going to be an important stretch these next five minutes. You can either put some separation between you and the Vikings or the Vikings can get themselves back in. Here's a turnover. That's not going to help Portland State. Dangerous pass. Default threaded the needle, but Johnny Lee had to get on the deck to corral that one. 15-14 left here in the second half. It's a good one. Tommy's up by 10. When your heating and air conditioning system stops working, how do you know who to call? Call one of those big corporations and you're just a number. But at Magnolia Heating and Cooling, we treat everyone like family. That's because we're family owned and based here in Riverside. Your neighbors trust Magnolia Heating and Cooling and we've earned a great reputation over the years. Call to experience the Magnolia difference. For any heating and cooling repair, call 1-800-TO-GET-AIR. Introducing bubbly sparkling water. Crack a smile. Conventional wisdom says breakfast is the most important meal. But at Provider Food Services, we believe that every meal you enjoy with us is the most important meal. Voted number one, this ideal drives us to bring you curated, chef-driven cuisine and composed meal experiences every single time. 
Whether you're dining with us or partnering with us, we want to give you the best and safest experience. So in these busiest of days, let's always enjoy the most important meal. Welcome back behind the hot shooting of Candle Blue. St. Thomas with a 10 point advantage. Blue takes a seat on the bench. He's got 18 on six of six from behind the arc. He is perfect so far in this one. Although if you talk to his coach, not perfect because he does have two turnovers on the game. 10 point advantage, Vikings looking to cut into this here. They need a bucket. In the lane, Johnson off the mark of Johnny Lee. Lee will bring this up. Full head of steam. He's going to take it all the way. And he'll be fouled. Looked like that one was called on the ground before the shot. Johnson with the foul. Now Johnny Lee said, hey, no one's going to stop the ball. I might as well just take it to the cup. Ben now, junior from Wisconsin. One of the few players on this squad not from Minnesota. They've got 10 Minnesota native players on the roster. Poor pass, default, able to get it. His shot short though. And shot clock violation. And the basketball back to the Vikings. So Portland State, no field goals in their last 2.05 now. A little bit of a scoring drought for the Vikings. Shooting overall 42% from the field. Habib over to Satterfield. He'll take the shot, and he will drain it. You could see the confidence in the stroke and from our vantage point, kind of right behind the action there. It looked good from the moment go, right after the flick of the wrist. Here's Dom Martinelli. Martinelli in the lane, now looking for help, picked up his dribble, and that's not good because the telegraph pass, Satterfield, Take that and deposit it for an easy basket. And now it's just a five point contest. There's Ben now. Over to Dom Martinelli. Remember, all these teams going through it. Three games in three days. So you got to get a little deeper on your bench as there's a foul. Top of the key, Ryan Dufault. Will be fouled. I believe that was Isaiah Johnson. It was Johnson. He's gotten two fouls here in the last couple moments. That's now three on the ball game for him. So now the scoring drought belongs to the Tommies. Two and a half minutes. Blocking foul. Carter Bjerke. Bjerke had a very good first half. Scored all 10 of his points there. Four of four from the floor in just 10 minutes of work. So good job off the bench for Johnny Tower and crew. Raheem Anthony. He'll take it to the cup. And just came up short on that one. Hits the front iron. Vikey's trying to push, lose the ball. Anthony, he's not able to convert. Good defense there around the cylinder. Vikings didn't foul, but they were there with hands in the face and definitely 
affected what Raheem Anthony was trying to do. Here's Kendall Munson. Terrell Satterfield. Two-man game into Munson. Kicks it out from the double team, and that one is in there. Bobby Harvey. They call him Bobby Three Ball, and that's why right there. He's got five now on the Knights. 8-0 run now for the Vikings over the last minute and a half. Dobbs trying to put a stop to that, and he will stop the scoring drought. Nearly three and a half minute scoring drought for the Tommies. So a good one has settled in here. Middle moments of the second half. Satterfield said, I'm hot. I'll just go ahead and make this one. He doesn't. He gets the ball back. There's Bobby three ball. And he does it again. Bobby Harvey. True from the corner. The senior from Chicago, Illinois. Went to Hillcrest High School. This team for the Vikings very deep. Bjerke hits the deck. Hopefully he's all right. That's a big dude hitting the ground there. A one-point advantage for the Tommies in a good one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. At Magnolia, we've been around so long because we're always on the cutting edge. Let Magnolia help you modernize your comfort with our new all-electric, ultra-efficient comfort systems. Magnolia Heating and Cooling, trusted in Riverside since 1951. Doctors who care for you and about you. It's the Riverside Medical Clinic way. We're physician owned. That means medicine is always practiced in a way that benefits the patient first. Incredible care is waiting at one of our seven locations near you. Come feel the difference. We are Riverside Medical Clinic. In 1936, two brothers founded Stater Brothers Markets with the promise to provide good food at a fair price, commit to excellent service, and care for our communities. Today, our values continue to guide everything we do. We value our team and take pride in our work. We are humble, respectful, and challenge the status quo. We communicate openly, honestly, clearly. And above all else, we have fun. Stater Brothers Markets, fresh, affordable, community first. One point advantage for St. Thomas. And I tell you what, if the Tommies aren't able to pull this one out, they haven't got a victory yet in this tournament. Head coach Johnny Tower will look to one or two stats in particular. Turnovers, 11 turnovers for the Tommies, uncharacteristic and points off of those turnovers. Portland State with 20. Meanwhile, the Tommies don't have any points off of the nine turnovers committed by the Vikings. So it's an interesting tidbit in the statistical story of this one. It's a good one. One point advantage for the Tommies. Drake Dobbs surveying the floor. Parker Bjorklund gets caught up there with KJ Allen. Two man game here on the far side. Dobbs, Bjorklund. This one off of the back of the rim. Here comes Portland State. They're good on their last four of five field goals. Near side, Jarrell Satterfield. Looking for a screen from Kendall Blue. Now on the blue, kicks out. There's Harvey, leaves that one short. So Bobby Harvey had hit his last two three-point shots. Heat check there, not able to convert. 
Raheem Anthony hopping in the lane, kicks it back out. There's Kendall Blue, and he finally misses a three on this one. He's now six of seven. But he's going to try it again. Instead, it'll be Bjorklund, and he is off the mark. It's interesting, the rebound battle, the battle of the glass. I thought it was going to be much more in the favor of the Vikings. They're just plus one in that category right now. So the Tommies have been doing a good job on the boards, even though they are a little bit undersized as compared to Portland State. So Raheem Anthony will get a rest, a well-deserved rest. Habib working on Dobbs. Satterfield now with the take. And that hit the rim about 12 times before it fell. Now the lead back to Portland State, 13 to two. Now 13 to four run for the Vikings as Drake Dobbs with the immediate answer there from the senior from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. So back and forth is these two exchanged the lead a couple times here. Aggressive take there from Habib. And he is fouled. Looks like he might be in a little bit of discomfort there as he hit the floor hard. Looks to be all right. 926 left in this one. And it is a good one. For 25 minutes of this contest, the Tommies have had the lead as we're tied once again. Three lead changes, most of them happening here in the last couple moments. And Portland State, they get the lead back. They've only had the lead in this one for three minutes. But it doesn't matter what happens all game. It's the score is the final buzzer. Here's Kendall Blue. Finally came back down to earth and finally missed a shot in this one. He's got 18. He's our game leader. There's a foul on the Vikings. That's the second on Habib. Terrell Satterfield, leading scorer for the Vikings. He's got 13. Kendall Blue looking to get this one in. Ben now. The Orkland. Quiet game. Just four points for Parker Bjorkland. Now, had to shoot, got it in there. Your stroke there from Ben Now, the guy from Wisconsin, the junior guard. He's from Brookfield, Wisconsin. I'm sorry, I can't say that, that name without saying it like I'm from Wisconsin. 57 55. Here's Kendall Blue. Yorkland back to his point. Back to Parker. He'll have to kick it out. Wide open Drake Dobbs, and he will take that one and drain it. Ice water in the veins of Drake Dobbs. Dobbs in double figures. Five point advantage for the Tommies. Drake Dobbs with 15 points on six of seven shooting. That one off the mark. And whistle and a foul off of the rebound. It'll be on the Vikings. And we're going to go ahead and step aside. Five point advantage for the Tommies. It's a good one. Don't go anywhere.
At Magnolia, we've been around so long because we're always on the cutting edge. Let Magnolia help you modernize your comfort with our new all-electric, ultra-efficient comfort systems. Magnolia Heating and Cooling, trusted in Riverside since 1951. In 1936, two brothers founded Stater Brothers Markets with the promise to provide good food at a fair price, commit to excellent service, and care for our communities. Today, our values continue to guide everything we do. We value our team and take pride in our work. We are humble, respectful, and challenge the status quo. We communicate openly, honestly, clearly. And above all else, we have fun. Stater Brothers Markets, fresh, affordable, community first. Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm from Moreno Valley, California, and I've been with Altura Credit Union since 2017. Family time is extremely important. Being able to just pull my phone out and just go right on the app while the kids are over there doing whatever they're doing, I'm able to just go on the app really quick, transfer money, or check my account, see if my deposits went through right away. With my Ascend checking account, I'm also able to check my credit score. I don't ever have to worry about anything in my bank account. Did I mention it was free? <laughs> Welcome back. Tommy's with the five point advantage. St. Thomas on a quick 6 0 run over the last minute plus. That was after the Vikings were able to take a short lived lead with five lead changes in this one. And I tell you what, for the Tommies, a lot of times their offense is coming from their bigs, Raheem Anthony and Parker Bjorklund, but tonight it's been the guard play. Kendall Blue with 18, Drake Dobbs with 15, and then now he's also got six. He's got the basketball, dribbling it at the top. Ajani Lee inside to Bjorki, big guy. He's got 10 points on the game. Tries a back cut there, but misfired. Johnny Lee fell down, trying to retain possession there. Allen in the post. He is. A load down there, Bjerke draws the foul. So the sixth team foul now for the Tommies, each side with six. KJ Allen from the line, super efficient from the charity stripe. Makes this a three-point ball game. That's one thing about Portland State. They are good on the road. There's been some road warriors here, and they're good in the second half play. It doesn't matter if they're down in a contest. They show a lot of composure. And you can't look at their faces and tell what the score of the game is at any point. That's if they're doing good or if they're not doing exactly what they think they should be. Shot clock winding down. Anthony's got to heave this one. Ends up getting the rebound back momentarily, knocked away. And now here comes the Vikings. Habib in the front court. Satterfield, he'll drain that. We're all tied up at 60. Jarrell Satterfield, the senior. He's from Chicago, Illinois, the transfer from UTEP. He's now got 16 on the game. Vikings now, chance to take the lead. Habib, he walked, couldn't keep the pivot foot down there. It slid, and a good call there, much to his chagrin. We'll take another look. Yep, a little shuffle of the feet there. We'll call that one with Braille. 60 apiece. Final six minutes. A good one here from the Joust in Riverside. Portland State trying to have their way this weekend as a Johnny Lee is fouled as he takes it to the cup. And the Tommies, they're fighting so hard right now, they just need to get a victory. That's a long flight home. 
come out here to California, you want to get at least one of the three. They got beat by the Lancers last night. Score was close, but that's just because of how efficient the Tommies are at the end of a ball game as far as fouling and hitting their shots. Johnny Lee hits the first one from the line. It's his first point of the ball game. He hasn't attempted anything from the field. He's got a rebound and an assist in his 16 minutes. Lee puts this one in home. Two point advantage for the Tommies. A little pressure in the backcourt. They back off. Dobbs, he's had a good game, guarding the point. Satterfield, he hit that one. I was going to say he was unconscious. A foul underneath. Portland State did not like the call. And it's going to go the other way. Let's take a look at Satterfield rimming out, but pretty clear over the back there. Foul called on Hunter Woods. So now that's seven for the Vikings. One and one, one and one opportunity, excuse me, for the Tommies. Kendall Blue, what a ball game he has had. He puts the first one home. Now 19 on the afternoon. He's only missed one shot, all of them, until that one at the charity stripe there had been from behind the three-point line. Kendall Blue leads all scorers with 20. Pressure in the backcourt momentarily. Habib will bring it up. Woods, here's Allen. Those two get it back to each other, back to the post. Woods, deep three. He didn't draw iron there. So an important defensive stop there for the Tommies. Let's see if they can extend this ever so slight lead here. Four points. Parker Bjorklund. He hasn't scored a lot, but he is the doing other things. He's got six rebounds. Just hasn't looked comfortable around the rim, but how can you look comfortable around the rim with four dark shirts around you? Allen thought about it. Instead, he'll try to take it to the cup. He's fouled. So, seventh team foul on the Tommies. Allen will go back to the charity stripe. One and one. He's very good on the line. Allen. You almost got the feeling he's just going to knock that home automatically. And he gets a second one to roll in. He's about a 77% free throw shooter so far on the young season. Two-point game. Bjorklund. Oh, good cut there. Ben now. Good find from Parker Bjorklund. Bjorklund's only got four points, but he's got seven boards, and now he's got his fourth assist, and that one was a dandy. Good back cut there. Allen. Working against Allen, and KJ. Wins that battle of the Allens. Or back and forth here, 66-64. Two teams trading buckets here these last couple possessions. Dobbs gets into the paint. Now decision time. Kendall Blue with a great back cut. And that's what the Tommies can do. They're extremely fundamentally sound in the half court set. Plays like that that might just earn them their first victory of this tournament. Looking to even up their overall record at three and three. Spin move 
Baseline, kick out, Satterfield rims in and out. Brooks Allen collects the rebound. And now the Tommies will look to slow this down a little bit. Effective, their last two possessions in the half court set. Doing it with back cuts. See how they attack it this time. Kendall Blue, he's just going to take it to the cup. He had a step on KJ Allen, but the help defense just enough to alter the trajectory of Kendall Blue's shot. Tie up there in the middle, and we're going to get a traveling violation. So a huge turnover. Four-point advantage for the Tommies. Don't go anywhere. We'll step aside with 309 remaining. Original never compromise. Nobody can mess with my copyright. Make it look easy, I don't have to try it. Go and get it. Go and get it. Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm from Moreno Valley, California, and I've been with Altura Credit Union since 2017. Family time is extremely important. Being able to just pull my phone out and just go right on the app while the kids are over there doing whatever they're doing, I'm able to just go on the app really quick, transfer money, or check my account, see if my deposits went through right away. With my Ascend checking account, I'm also able to check my credit score. I don't ever have to worry about anything in my bank account. Did I mention it was free? <laughs> Original never compromise. Nobody can mess with my copyright. Make it look easy, I don't have to try it. Go and get it. Go and get it. Four point game here at the Joust. California Baptist University. A good one as the Tommies trying to salvage one of three this weekend. Portland State trying to remain undefeated not only on the season but this tournament and got a little bit of work to do here down by four Tommy's with the basketball with the lead shooting 49 percent from the floor and Dobbs does it again that's now 17 for the point guard the guard play for the Tommies has been tremendous, as has the shooting of Bobby Three Ball. Harvey knocks that one home. He's now three of five from behind the arc. 11 points on the evening for Harvey. Portland State with four players scoring in double figures. And there's Bjorklund doing what he does best, getting in the lane, a little left-handed half hook shot. He's now got six on the evening to go along with his seven boards and four assists. So Bjorklund not doing it exactly in the fashion you might expect from him, but still having a pretty solid performance here. KJ Allen blocked. That was Bjorklund with the block and the good defense on the interior. Raheem Allen, excuse me, Raheem Anthony. Comes out with the basketball. He'll take it to the cup and he is fouled as he's going in. 72-67, under two minutes in this one. Twenty-two points for Kendall Blue, 17 for Drake Dobbs, leading the way for St. Thomas. Raheem Anthony, just one of seven from the field. It was a three-pointer. Got four points on the afternoon. Six rebounds and two assists. Anthony hits the first of the one and one. We'll get another shot at the line here. Looking to extend this lead. 
get a seven point advantage. He does so. Timeout from St. Thomas. Johnny Tower wants to talk things over in his 13th season at the helm of the Tommies. Talking to him before the weekend. He's talking about that transition from Division Three to Division One. He was five minutes away from campus, so he's talking about uh, the reality of the change. Kind of everything stayed the same, but nothing was the same. He moved from Division Three to Division One, and it's a tough jump. But they've done it well. They've done an admirable job. Nine wins in their first season. This was a really good Division Three squad that was basically kicked out of their uh, conference. They've just been too successful. So they move all the way from Division Three to Division One. Johnny Tower has to be commended for the job he has done there. Really instilling a tough mentality team that really focuses on holding on to the basketball, although we've got 13 turnovers this evening, and that's led to 24 points for the Vikings off of those turnovers. And conversely, the Tommies have only scored four points off of turnovers, 11 turnovers for the Vikings. So kind of an interesting tidbit there in the dynamic of this game. Told you that the Vikings coming in were going to have the advantage on the boards, and apparently I lied to you. Plus three in that category for St. Thomas. They've made a good effort to box out, be in a good position to get that board. But again, on offense, Tommy is shooting 26 of 51 from the field, including 60% from behind the arc. So that'll help offensively if you don't need to collect your offensive rebounds and the Tommy's doing a pretty efficient job shooting. It'll be Isaiah Johnson from Torrance, California, the transfer from Oregon State to trigger this in. Uh, Habib working against Drake Dobbs at the top. Satterfield guarded closely by Kendall Blue. Back to Habib, double team for the second. Far side, that's Bobby Harvey. 10 seconds, Habib, and he drains it. Ice water in the veins of Ishmael Habib. Obviously, we saw it Friday night. The half court heave for the game winner. He draws his team within four here. Habib now also in double figures. They've got five scorers in double figures. Ten points now for Habib. Kendall Blue leads all scorers with 22. Raheem Anthony, dribble drive, 24 against 24 crime there. But that's going to be an offensive foul as Anthony just put his head down and bowled over Habib. He's got his arms up and his palms to the sky, but I think when he watches the replay there, he'll know that was a foul. Take another look. It wasn't that Habib had such great position, but it was the fact that Anthony's shoulder got so low into the body of Habib made the call pretty easy for the officials, who, by the way, have Caught a very good game here tonight. Hopefully I don't jinx them with my broadcaster's jinx. 74-70, Habib into the lane, kick out. Johnson from the corner, rims out. Big 50-50 ball, it'll go to Portland State. Deep three, Satterfield off the mark. So a big miss there, big possession. Still plenty of time left here. It'll be a timeout, four point advantage for the Tommies and Jace Coburn wants to talk it over. Very intense coach in his third season. He's got some reason though to 
have some pride with this program. Not only are they playing well here early in the year, they had nine returners from a year ago. Something that uh, the coaching staff hang their hat on. Obviously, the culture in the locker room, on the court, things are working there for Portland State. Ace Coburn, very successful young head coach. His team down by four here is the Tommies trying to salvage one. Coming all the way out from Minnesota. It'll be a long flight back. They can't squeak this one out. Meanwhile, the Vikings, they don't care about that at all. They want to remain undefeated and run this tournament. And Allen not able to inbound. Timeout. St. Thomas. St. Thomas, of course. Preaching, taking care of that basketball, mental toughness. And it's a category that they're usually pretty good in, although tonight 14 turnovers. But they've been good on the boards, have the Tommies. 30 rebounds to Portland State's 27. And I mean, looking at the size, you kind of assume coming in that it would be the Vikings on the boards. Points in the paint pretty even between these two squads. So here we go. Well, we were about to go, but another whistle. A little bit of a scrum there in the middle. Officials just trying to make sure it's all good. Gets this one into Dobbs. Raheem Anthony, and Anthony will be fouled by Allen. So Raheem Anthony, six points on the evening, six rebounds. 25 minutes of work for the big fella. Good on the first one. Preseason Summit League Newcomer of the Year. Transfer from St. Mary's. Nope, not in Moraga. St. Mary's in Minnesota. And Anthony calmly puts both of them in the cylinder. Johnny Lee will come on for the Tommies. 30 seconds, down by six. Habib, look for him to get loose here. There he goes. Rims in and out, and the rebound, Parker Bjorklund. That's his eighth board on the afternoon. So the Tommies. Still plenty of time, but have to feel good about where they are right now. Bjorklund. Off the mark on the first one. Parker, six points, eight boards, four assists. He had 22 the other night here, and he misses both. So life for the Vikings. Harvey, step back three. That one rims out, and there's Brooks Allen with the board with 10 seconds to go. And the Tommies can feel this one now. So the Tommies. Looking to get one out of three. Looked like they were gonna get the victory here Friday night. But Cal Poly able to hold on in the final seconds of that one. Parker Bjorklund had a chance 
with a left hand hook shot in the post that he puts in about 80% of the time, but he missed that one. Another miss at the free throw line. Allen, step back, three. And that is no good, and that'll just about do it here. And the final bell has indeed sounded. The coaches congratulating each other, and the Tommies have taken this one 76 to 70. So basketball so unpredictable. Vikings come in undefeated on the season and the tournament, but they fall to St. Thomas. St. Thomas now three and three on the season. Portland State now five and one. Hey, don't go anywhere. Well, I mean, go somewhere. Go to ESPN Plus at five o'clock and we will have the conclusion of this tournament. Cal Poly Mustangs facing off against the CBU Lancers for our entire production staff. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you in less than an hour.